Otto Octavius was born into a working class family during the early years of the Cold War. As a young child, he became obsessed with learning about history's greatest geniuses and the impact that they had on humanity, firmly believing himself to be the next da Vinci of his time. Atomic research soon became the field of study that he saw himself making a mark on, becoming fascinated by the potential power that it could unlock if fully mastered in the right hands. It also, however, terrified him, as he understood how destructive it could be. With this fear regularly being reinforced during duck and cover drills at school, with him often breaking down and crying as he cowered under his desk, other children came to mock his overreactions, constantly name-calling and abusing him throughout the day. As his bullying worsened, he started imagining his bullies being vaporized in a nuclear attack, wishing that one day he would have that kind of power in his own hands to do with as he pleased. At home, his life was not much better. While his mother Mary comforted him, whenever he returned home with bruises, his father Torbert was abusive, who viewed his son as an utter disgrace to the family. Torbert saw Otto as a coward who needed to stand up for himself like a man, and he attempted to instill this into his son by giving him a second beating after school with a belt, believing that it would toughen him up. Instead, all it did was build up hatred within Otto, who came to fantasize about his father being vaporized in a nuclear explosion, just like his school bullies. At one point, right when he was about to receive another beating, he gave his father a cold, murderous stare, which was so menacing that it actually made Torbert stumble back in shock and fall down onto one of the flasks kept in Otto's room, with its liquid burning his hand. As his father ran out of his room in pain and fear, Otto came to understand that his pursuit of science not only would immortalize him as one of humanity's greats, but also give him the power to fight against those that wished him harm. Once Otto graduated high school, he was accepted into Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Although the university gave him ample resources to expand his studies, he continued to be harassed by his fellow classmates. Even when he attempted to stand up for himself using wit, he was always brought down by his bully's aggression and intimidation. This made him realize that knowledge alone was not enough, but it needed to be turned into real power if he ever wished to truly defend himself against his bullies. As a result, he became obsessed with his research into the atom, isolating himself to work on it tirelessly, until one day a professor came across his discoveries and was astonished at what he saw. Otto was then invited to work alongside the university's professors on their own project, which was to accomplish visual demonstration of radiation. Very quickly, he showed his true potential to those around him and took over the department as its head researcher. Even just at the age of 17 at this point, all of the other seasoned professors became his assistants and came to modify the lab to his liking. Although this new opportunity allowed him to work with equipment he could have only dreamed of as a student, he was disappointed with the focus of the project as he saw its purpose as ultimately inconsequential. Eventually, he got a call from his mother informing him that his father Torbert had died in an accident at the factory where he worked. She also informed Otto that it was the machine his father had been working at that had killed him. While his mother wailed over the loss of her husband, Otto was dispassionate, answering her grief with only a hint of emotion. Once he hung up, he walked over to one of the machines within his laboratory and thanked it, happy to know that his father had died by the hand of the technology he had often dismissed. Otto attended his father's funeral alongside his family. He was largely silent until the very end when the priest came to talk to him privately. It was here that Otto felt comfortable to open the floodgates of his true feelings for the man. He thanked his father for making him realize the true depth of the hateful ignorance of the lower class and their inability or refusal to expand their horizons. That his father, his school bullies, and others like them were not only beneath someone like himself, but also a lost cause to become better. Afterwards, Otto returned to his university and continued his studies, until eventually graduating at the top of his class and being hired by the U.S. Atomic Research Center shortly after. It was there he would finally be allowed to do the type of experiments he had always wanted, dangerous ones that would require him to construct his cybernetic arms to aid him in his research, the same ones that would ultimately twist his mind and turn him into the infamous Dr. Octopus.